Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your November 2015 love reading. It's Rena here. So I picked five cards and they relate to different aspects of your state of mind and potential action steps you can take. Remember that these are general readings and in my personal readings, I like to combine the natal chart of the client with one of these tarot spreads because I feel it is more well-rounded and I have yielded better results by combining the two. The tarot provides something that the astrology doesn't and vice versa. So in any case, the first card represents your current state of mind and emotions. And I got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of you may have actually had a partner just take off suddenly. And there was no warning ahead of time. And you're left picking up the pieces, wondering what exactly happened. But this person is a bully. This person is a sarcastic individual. It could be a man, so this could be for women specifically. The majority of my viewers are women, and I don't mean to single out men as a culprit because knights don't have to be men. It's just that it could definitely be a man for some of you. This person is cocky, thinks that he knows it all, and he can even come off like a, a dictator, but he's very immature. And so really you are better off, but because you were involved with him, you might have felt like, you know, was it something I said? Was it something I did? And you don't realize that that's how he operates and you have to learn that. For some of you, this may mean that you are laying low at the moment. You're waiting to find out what to do next. And this is actually a very good idea. Sometimes you have to kind of assess things before you continue and not just blindly take another action if you've been having problems within a relationship. The message from the universe is the wheel of fortune in reverse. For some of you, there are certain patterns. For some of you, there are negative patterns that you keep repeating. And it may look on the outside that it is just a you know, bad turn of events, but it's actually something that you are contributing to in a major way. And you don't even really consciously realize it. And this is the problem because you think that you are at the mercy of fate. And this is something that is quite common for Pisces to think that they are at the mercy of fate. Because Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac. And a lot of you come into this incarnation with all of this stuff. And by virtue of being a Pisces, you're like old souls. And after a while, that can get to a person. That is always the challenge for a Pisces person, is to remain positive in their thoughts and to make sure that they don't act like martyrs and that they don't feel like perennial victims. And the way that you do that is to make better choices and also to realize that when things take a downturn, it means that you're not aligned in some way and that you have to get back into alignment. So how do you get back into alignment? Well, I think the next two cards kind of give us some clues. I have the Two of Wands and I have the High Priestess. The two of wands relates to two passions in life. And uh, wands relate to the fire signs, which relate to enthusiasm and creativity. And in your case, I know that a lot of Pisces people are artists in one form or another. Some people sing, some people draw and paint, some people make jewelry. And it could also be a passion for that sort of thing. Some of you have psychic gifts that you could offer. But the two of wands suggests that if you're pursuing a relationship, that you balance it with your passion. 
don't neglect your gifts that you came into this lifetime to chase after somebody, to sit by the window, looking out, waiting for the person to come back. Because when you exercise your passions, it will naturally put you more into alignment and then you will attract and maintain a relationship that is good for you. The high priestess is what you are on your best day. An intuitive person, someone who doesn't look at the outer world to provide their blueprint, but looks within and taps into the intuition that they naturally possess. It's really connecting to your higher self, to source energy, when you make your decisions, when you maintain an even keel, rather than always seeking the company of other people, water signs such as Pisces tend to be people, people, you know, you really gain a lot of energy from your contact with your loved ones. And that's wonderful, but they are on their path and you're on your path. And sometimes their perceptions are, you know, right for them, but not for you. And Pisces tends to be very impressionable and can be easily influenced by the opinions of other people. And yet you can't live somebody else's life. And so your situation is applicable only to you. It also applies to the people that you meet because you will get red flags. You will have feelings that other people trigger off in you. And if you ignore them when they're negative because you like some other aspect of the person, that can also lead to problems. And then if you take this advice, the outcome is the six of pentacles. And, the, you know, the pentacles relate to um, the element of earth. And they also relate to material things. So in a love reading, this may seem rather odd, but it can also be about your gifts that you came here to do, like your creativity, because it can relate to that in some respects as well, you know, artistic endeavors. The Six of Pentacles is all about generosity. And so the spirit of generosity extends to our emotional life as well. Because Pisces, when you feel like you're not getting your needs met, then you can't really give all the love and the talents that you naturally possess to other people. So it's really important that you tap into your own intuition so that you can provide this for yourself. And then you will be able to give it to other people and it will be a benefit to their lives, whether it's in a romantic relationship or just everyone that you come in contact with. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like something personalized, just click on the link below. I would love to read for you. Take care. I hope you have a wonderful November. Bye.